Hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. I apologize because I couldn't upload anything in those last four weeks because I have uh, some issues with my graphic card, you know, for some reason it stopped working. I call a BGA and they told me, you know what, it's under the warranty, just send back and we can replace. So it took like almost 20 days to get back and also I'm not really happy with the replacement because it's uh, old car, you know, kind of like scratch and, you know, that's why I'm trying to test and see help me have any issues with and that's what I decided to create this quick tutorial you know using the Premiere so let me quit this uh, quick time and go into my Premiere you know uh, I have my Premiere basically when you download make sure to read the description to download the package you will have all those folders and the folder dash 024 title opener display you will have this what I'm gonna use today so let me just open so you will have this as you see title opener display 001 and you can just drag and, and drop in the premiere or you can go file import or oh, there's the shortcut or hotkey you know so you can import and as you see I already have in my premiere as I say so let me create a new command and to create new I'm using the SLR 1080p 30 frames per second so I'm gonna just type a main 2 maybe and let me click ok so once we have this we can pull first the uh, you know the animation and maybe keep existing settings and let me go ahead and put in the second layer once we have this let me zoom in a little bit and we can see better and also you can use an image or you can use a video in this case I'm gonna use this image I like this so let me go ahead and make sure the effect control is open so let me go ahead and you know scale down because the image is a little bigger once we have this so this is what we have basically we can uh, scale down this also to 50% because it's 4k as you know and this is what we have and then what we can do is change the color if you like you know so let me go ahead and look for the tent that's the way we can change in Premiere and once we have this make sure select it let me go effect and control let me change just the white you know so let me go ahead and choose the color I like basically I love this color not too kind of like dark and this is what we have so once we have this you can choose any color you like so once we have this as you know my uh, premiere it's looking a little bit different than yours because my workspace is a little different because I like this this way and you know it gives much space for the timeline that's why I like this so you can go ahead and customize anyway so as I you see I got my tools over here so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put light right here maybe I'm gonna type maybe welcome first and then we can go ahead and make sure uh, align to the center if you don't see the essential graphics you can go window and make sure the essential graphic is checked once we have this we can go ahead and type another uh, word like welcome to and make sure also it's uh, you know aligned to the center and also we can type another word, welcome to Nero Studio so let me just go ahead and type Nero Studio you can type anything you want so make sure it you know in the sand as well so and let me just make sure and check this and this so let me just change this a little bit kind of like uh thickening you know so let me just go ahead. i'm using Robo roboto you can search in google if you like it's free uh, the name is roboto so i'm gonna go for this maybe we can have a regular a little bit thick and yep so once we have this maybe let me just pull this at the beginning and also we can just extend this the same length uh, animation you know and this is what we have so let me go ahead into my make sure the layer selected let me go ahead and uncheck maybe welcome and check this you know so this is the welcome that we have so we can go ahead and start the animation so first we need to see where the animation ends you see the uh, transition so I think it's two seconds yeah I'm pretty sure it's two seconds so we can go ahead and type two seconds then what we can do make sure the uh, welcome selector first of course so what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a keyframe and then we can go 15 frames so will be 215 of course 2 seconds and, and 15 frames and then what we, uh, we can do is add another keyframe so if we go back to 2 seconds and then we can just pull this down a little bit right there so we can also copy this so command C to copy because we're gonna be using and then we can go ahead and you know make sure it's in 215 we can leave one second here 
just to read the word uh, you know the text so we can go ahead and say it will be 315 in this case so we're gonna as I said we're gonna leave one second so we can add another keyframe and then we can go 15 frames more so it will be 400 of course four seconds and then we can go and paste this uh, Y position so we can go and paste the values that we copy remember and this is what we have so once we have this what we can do is you know make sure to add on um, you know a mask so we can go ahead and make sure select it and we can go and add a mask so we can go make sure pull this up a little bit right there maybe and also make sure it's zero percent the feather and we can just make sure click and hold it on shift we can pull this to the size you know just to have the text cover so right there and also right there there you go so if we go and play this is what we have of course so we can my computers are for some reason my card i don't know if it's the issue so it's kind of like a little slow anyway so keep going so this is what we have uh, actually the text it's not so you see uh make sure uh, you know don't confuse i add the uh, mask into the um two text so let me go ahead and right click copy that's the nice in premiere so let me just uh copy this you know and make sure the welcome is selected where is welcome so right here selected you know and just make sure selected and let me just command small b to paste and there uh, you will have the on uh, the mask of course paste on so it uh, seems like uh, it's n it's not covering the uh so let me just go ahead we need to go and make sure it's selected so we need to pull this a little bit up so make sure it's right there so actually you know what so it's right, keep right there actually you know right there so we can just pull this make sure it's covering the text so right here i guess if we play so this is what we have so maybe the mask should be a little bit down right there so let me see what we have right there okay so then once we have this we can just go ahead and smooth out the animation so let me go as you know I've been doing a lot there, so let me just select this and pull this uh, pen. So let me just go ahead right there and I'll select this. Go ahead and pull right here. So we can go ahead and hit the uh, tilde key on the keyboard. That's the hot key. So let me go ahead and see. And this is what we have basically. Uh, so comes out and then stays one second, then goes down. So let me go ahead and make sure, you know, and right here actually is. Uh, four seconds actually and we can start animating the uh, this letter so we can do same thing we can go ahead and make sure close this and go here and let me erase this mask for now so let me go ahead and position so let me just add a position and you know so let me go ahead uh, 15 frames more so will be 415 and then we can just go ahead and add another keyframe if we go back to this keyframe, which is 400, of course, four seconds. And remember, we need to paste the value. So actually, it's not pasting. Oh, let me go ahead and it's not pasting because I didn't copy. So let me go back into welcome. So let me go ahead and copy the value that we have right there. So let me just see what is the, okay, right here. So let me command C to copy go back to the um this word so we can go ahead and you know make sure it's in the 404 seconds and let me go ahead and change you know i mean copy so let me just command small v to paste and this is what we have okay so once we have actually i don't know for some reason my computer i don't really like kind of like so let me just uncheck i mean check this so to have visible so this is what we have so let me go ahead and you know so we got four seconds and 15 frames so we can go ahead and leave one second of course so it will be 515 of course and then we can go ahead and add another keyframe and then go 15 frames more so it will be 600 six seconds of course and then we can paste this on the y position you know so this is what we have of course and then we can go ahead and just, you know, uh, do the same thing, you know, uh, smooth out the animation. So let me go ahead and deselect select this and pull this right here. 
Same thing, select this. Right here. So we got the animation and also we need to copy the, uh, you know, the um, mask from the welcome. So let me just go ahead and select the mask. Right click, copy, go into my, let me close this, go into my next text right here and just make sure select it and just command small b to paste and there we have the mask and so we can go ahead and start playing with the nair studio doing the same thing so let me go ahead and check this and let me just close this window and this is what we have actually you know okay so let me go ahead and do the same thing so let me go ahead and see where we have the end of the uh two word and then let me go ahead and i think it's his 600 of course so let me go 600 and then we can go ahead and you know add a keyframe on the position of course the Net studio add a keyframe go 15 frames of course so it will be 615 uh, and then we can go and add the keyframe so let me go ahead and leave one second so it will be 715 right so just right there actually you know what so let me go ahead and add another keyframe and then we can go 15 frames more so will be 800 so we can go ahead and add another keyframe and also we can copy the value that we uh copy from actually let me go ahead and copy from welcome actually uh, the white position so let me go ahead and see right here yeah it's basically a six five eight point eight so let me just copy and go back to actually where it's Nero studio we playing with Nero studio okay Nero studio make sure so we can go right here where there is six seconds and then we can go ahead and paste the value you know the white position so let me just go ahead and see and also right here we can go ahead and paste as well the same value right here so let me go ahead and right there i think is 800 so let me just make sure it's 800 and let me go ahead and white position copy the same value and this is what we have and also we can go ahead and copy the as you know the mask from the welcome so let me just go right click copy go back to nera studio and let me make sure select it command small bit to paste and there you have actually we need to smooth out the animation same thing drop this down so you know we'll go ahead and right here so select this just pull this right there and also we can select this right here and right there so if we close and you will have this let me just render out and see so let's sequence render into out okay so this is what we have oh uh hold on i haven't you know i have to put this i didn't check i mean yeah so let me go ahead and see again let me just uh you know render and here we go you know welcome it goes down to goes down narrow studio and then disappear the animation so maybe it's a little late so let me go ahead and make sure select it let me open this uh so let's select the keyframes and move actually a little bit you know right there maybe so we can just pull all of them and you know just close and you know make sure render in and out so as you see there you have so welcome to Nero studio and then goes out you see so that's uh, the way to recreate this using the transition. Make sure to read the description. The link will be there in the description, of course. And also this uh, project will be in the description. You can download and make sure this is only for the 2018 version, not the uh, CSX or, or the first uh, 2017 came out, okay? So make sure to check the links and also make sure to subscribe on my two YouTube channels, like on Facebook and Twitter, why not? And make sure to turn on the bell for the notifications so make sure we'll be making another cool tutorial next week thanks so much and have a great time